Good morning, ma'am. Yes, yes, sure. I remember that your child's naming ceremony is tomorrow. Yes, I'm done with the dresses. Okay, ma'am, I'll get them delivered to you 10 a.m. today. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. Bye. Babe? Mm. Mm. I thought you have a job interview today. It's 8 a.m. already. Shoot! I forgot I have a job interview. Thanks, babe. What would I have done without you? Babe, you need to hurry up. I do not want you to miss your job interview. Please. Yeah, I'm on it. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Again? Look, business is really bad today, please. You've already told the KK guy that uh, I came to collect the money. It would be nice for me to return without paying him. Please bring my chains, I need it. I will. So, how did it go? Well, they said um, that they'll get back to me at 4 p.m. to tell me the outcome of the interview. So, I guess we just have to keep our fingers crossed. Same old stories. Babe, listen, there is every possibility that we'll get the job this time. They were impressed with my performance. 
girl, I really need you to get the job. Because I'm tired of giving you transport every day for job interviews. You really need to get a job. Besides, money is really hard to get these days. I'm sure I'll get it this time. Um, are you not done with that material? No, ma'am. No? And you're telling me no, ma'am. Every hurry up! Oh. Lazy girl. Is there food in this place? Food? Never mind. Pick up now, it could be the people from your job. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah, this is Tom Silobuchuku. Sure, you will get a job soon. How soon? Hmm? How soon, Thompson? For over a year now, you've been searching for a job. You go for several job interviews, but all to no avail. How soon? Do you think it's easy for me to carry the budget of this house for one year? Do you think it's easy? Just look at my shop. Nothing is progressing because every dime I make, I spend it on food and household expenses. I don't even take care of myself anymore. Look, I'm very angry. I am so upset. Just, just get out. Leave me alone. Just, just get out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry? What am I supposed to do with your apology? Huh? We apology put food on our table? We apology pay our bills? No. Thompson, you're the man in this relationship. It's your responsibility to take care of me and not the other way around. Well, look, if you cannot get a job, then try something else. Try another hustle. Handyman job. Try cleaning. Try something else. And stop wasting your useless life searching for a job. Stop it! Baby, did you just always my useless life? But I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying my best now to get a job. Your best is not enough. Your best is not enough, and I am tired. Look, don't make me use words I will regret. Just, just avoid me. Let me clear those food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good 
girlfriend. You have to take it easier on him. It is not his fault if he can't secure a job. So whose fault is it? My fault? Look, babe, I'm trying. But at this point, I'm tired of trying. I'm tired of carrying the responsibility of one man in my head. It's too much. Just two months ago, I paid for our house rent. And now my shop rent will soon expire. Where do you expect me to get the money from? It's too much for me now. This is not what I signed in for now. No. I ha. understand. But you can't turn your back on him yet. Just give him time. Hmm? Time? How much time do I need to give to him? Till my blood runs dry. Look, girl. It's not just Thompson I'm taking care of. All. I take care of Thompson. His mother. His siblings, my own mother, our house expenses, my shop expenses. Just look at how empty my shop looks. And now I still need to pay shop rent. Uh -uh. It's too much for me now. It's too much. Are you seriously counting this gold? Gold, this guy took care of you when you had nothing. He so much took care of you when he had money. I can't remember. He opened this shop for you. He made you who you are. He invested in your career as a fashion designer before his Bitcoin investment crashed. So why? Why do you want to turn your back on him simply because he hasn't found a job yet? Why? Maria, yeah, I know all this. I am not an ungrateful person. That is why I'm trying to put up with all of this. But it's taking so long. It's taking too much. It's draining me. It's becoming too much. Don't be like this, babe. What is going on is only temporary. Just give him time. I believe he will rise up again. Please. I shall give him time. No problem. I'll give him more time. Don't make circumstances make you lose a good guy. You. I know how much this guy loves you. Ha! Huh? I know he loves me. But no, you're not love a good job. Uh -uh. I just told you that my shop rent will soon expire. I need support from my man. I need support. Besides, let's just let's stop talking about Thompson, please. Let's talk about something else. Oh wow. I love this dress. How much is it? So fine. Aww. Um, hello, Ma. Oh yes, we'll round up your clothes soon. Yes, yes. Don't worry, you get to this evening. Yes, the balance too. <laughs> Okay, I'll be expecting the balance. Thank you, ma. Okay. You see how much is this dress? I really like it. I beg. I'm looking for customers that will give me money, not friendship custom. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean by that. <laughs> <laughs> So what next? Let's wait for their email. Okay. Mm. Let's wait for their email. God, I hope I hope I get this job. Oh. I swear. Yeah. Because the heat from gold, I'm beginning to feel it. No, she has tried now. You self think her. She has really tried. She's that girl has been practically taking care of me. How about? I, need to, I really need to start supporting. I really need to start supporting. Well, don't worry. This time around, eh? I assure you, you will get this job. Let me tell you. Guy, this is what you always say. That's what you always say. You see the last interview I went for, you said the same thing that they were going to call me. At the end of the day, they didn't call me. Guy, yeah, you took good day before. Just relax. Let me tell you, this time around, you will get this job. You see, you see this company, hmm? Mm -hmm. They are desperate in need of an IT personnel. I show not tomorrow. You get their me. Now me the now. You they give up. I don't they like her more. Okay. So I should wait and I should have feet. No, I'll, I'll mm. wait and I'll have feet. Now you are talking. But but na eh. Girls now wow. Just one year of chesting your bills. She's already complaining. Uh -uh. She has forgotten how you you sent her to a fashion design school to acquire her skills. Hmm. You even open shop for her. You are, in fact, you have been the one doing the things, the bills and all that. Now that things are kind of hard, 
now she's she's misbehaving. Guy, nah, women, eh, look, you understand. need to give this girl some credit. Oh, she's trying. She's trying. She didn't really try. Think about it. I am the man in the relationship. I'm supposed to be taking care of her, and not the other way around. I almost look. Look, I feel, I feel less of a man. I swear because of what's going on. I need to. I need to step up my game. And the only way I can do that is when I get a job. Give her some credit. She don't try her beg. Reason I'm now. You are right. But at least you should give you little time. This country job is very very difficult to find. Sure you get. What job in this country? Not the easy guy. We should give you time. No worry. We can bounce back again, guy. I'll use this one for mama medication. This one for full stuff. And this is just half of my rent. So how do I get the complete rent money now? God, I need to complete my shop rent. Babe. Yeah? This money is not enough. I couldn't even get extra money to buy myself new clothes. This... This responsibility is becoming too much for me to handle. It's becoming too much. How can I be carrying so much responsibility? It's not fair now. Tomorrow now I'll go to visit my mind in the village. I don't even have transport. Do you have any money to give to me for transport? No. Do you have at least 500 naira? No. What kind of what kind of relationship is this? It's so unfair. Just, just shut up. Just, just shut up. What do you have to say? You, lazy men don't talk. Just, just shut up. I beg. You just talk, 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 talk. Nothing keeps getting better. Go and look for work to do. Go and get money so you can be assisting me. Look for money, Thompson. Look for money. That's what I want you to do. Look for money. Ah, I'm tired. I cannot continue feeding you. Look for money. What kind of rubbish is this now? What kind of stupid relationship is this one? I'll be looking for money. Spending all my money on you. For what? For how long now? Please go and look for money, yo. Look for money. I'm tired. To talk, talk, say, babe. Babe, boy, just, just, don't talk again. Just, just shut your mouth. Shut up. What kind of rubbish is this? So, so which money would I use for transport now? Eh? Do you have 200 naira? You don't even need to answer because your reaction says no. Why are you so lazy? Very broke man. Rubbish. Because your sight looking at you is annoying me right now. So how do I get transport? Wake up! Babe. Good morning. Good morning. What's good about the morning? Thompson, don't you have anything to do today? Look at the time. You're still here sleeping. Your mates are out there hustling and you're here sleeping like a lazy cow. Come on, babe. I'm yet to be called where I applied for a job. You're very stupid. You know that, right? You do stand up. Go and do the chores. Yes, go to the kitchen, do the dishes. Just, just stand up and stop sleeping. Do something. Excuse me? Do I now speak French or Chinese? Or you expect me to go out, hustle for both of us and still come back and cook for you? Enough. Henceforth, you'll be the one doing the cooking and the chores in this house. No <laughs> way. You're joking, right? I'm not joking. I'm going out to see my mom. Before I get back, make sure you cook something really nice for me to eat. I'm tired of your lazy self. Rubbish. Laziness. You're very lazy.
Hey, babe. Hank. I didn't hear you call me last night. How would you hear me when all you do is sleep? How's your mom? Still alive. Okay. Um, can I get 500 naira from you? I need to buy detergent. 500 naira? Thompson, is that how low you have reduced yourself? Huh? <laughs> Babe, I wouldn't ask if I had the money. So how will you have the money when you do not want to work? Look, Thompson, it's too early for you to stress me. I have lots of work to do today, please. Babe, look, I am sorry if I'm a burden to you. I see all your effort. I know you're trying. And I assure you, I'll make it up to you someday. Well, I'm glad you know I'm trying. So tomorrow they will not say, God is a wicked woman. Take. That's it's okay. There's no food in the house. You can buy what you want to buy and search yourself with the remaining. I'm off to work. It's okay. I take it easy now. Yeah. So also, 
I thought you were waiting for that company to call you. So why are you still carrying your files about looking for a job? Bro, I can't keep waiting. I need a job. I need a job. The pressure is getting out of hand. Pressure from who? <sighs> oh. <laughs> I see. Uh, but she should take it easy on you now. Guy. I desperately need a job. I desperately need a job. I love gold. I love my woman. And I don't like the way things are going. I need to make my woman happy as a man. And I can't do that if I don't have a job. But there are other ways to make a woman happy now. Yes. E.G. Yeah, maybe you take her out. Oh God. Yes. Maybe I should just take her out. How am I supposed to take her out? Am I supposed to block leaves and, and, and take her out? It's no, not money I'll use to take her out. No, no, no. Tom CC. You must not take her to an expensive restaurant. Just take her out. Maybe shawarma spots, parfait, barbecue, all those things. You know, say girls like those things now. Mm, okay. Are you done? <laughs> so, ha am I supposed to use my teeth to pay for the shawarma? <laughs> yeah, stop. No, but it's true now. But okay, 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 don't worry. I will lend you some money. Then you promise to pay back when you finally get yourself a job. You will even add one million. <laughs> so we only pay back. <laughs> but I must thank you, man. I really appreciate everything. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to thank me, bro. See, you are a nice person. I cannot forget what you did for me in the hurry. You paid for my mom's hospital bill. You pay my sister's school fees for good three years. Guy, if you don't know this thing, you are a blessing to many lives. And I'm sure that God is planning something huge for you. Amen. Don't worry, bro. I believe you. Just relax. You see, when, when other people were applying for best friend, I specifically chose you <laughs> to be my best friend. I had my reasons. No, 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 no. Don't you see? You be a nice person. Guy, thanks for always having my back. One love. Beautiful baby. The one after my heart. The one I'll be spending the rest of my life with. The one that makes my heart beat. Thompson, what do you want? Look, if you want money, I don't have any money to give to you. Come on, babes. Can I express my feelings to my girlfriend again? Look, I want to appreciate you for, you know, for everything you've been doing for me. So, I have decided to take you out, you know, to your favorite spot, your favorite shawarma spot. Mm -hmm. Shawarma. Yeah. I know you like that. Double hot dog, plenty pepper, you know, the way you like it. So you really think shawarma is my problem at this point? Thompson, what is wrong with you? I mean, real men take their girlfriends out to five-star restaurant, luxury trip, buy the girlfriend good cars, and all you can think of is to get me shawarma? Really? Well, I don't blame you. No, 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 it's honestly, it's really, really not your fault. I don't blame God, you. God, can you for once appreciate the efforts that I make to make you happy? I just want you to be happy. And you think buy me a shawarma will make me happy? Thompson, men buy their girlfriends things that they cannot afford. I can afford a shawarma. Oh, you now see me as cheap, right? Because of all the things in this world, a shawarma you want to buy to make me happy. I'm really tired, Thompson. 
I had a stressful day at work, unlike you that is jobless. Don't disturb me again. Rubbish. You want to buy me shawarma to make me happy. Ordinary shawarma. I mean, let me buy 10 shawarma for you instead. Nonsense. Shawarma, double hot dog, pepper, a lot of people just like you like it. Like, have I done anything wrong? Wake up now, wake up. You like sleep too much, wake up. You need to get dressed, let's go out. Go where? To my shop. Why? Because henceforth, you will help me with deliveries. Yes, my delivery man is not around, so I need you to help me out. I didn't get another delivery man now. What do you mean get another delivery man now? So I should continue wasting money. I will not do that, Thompson. Henceforth, you will work hard for every penny that I give to you. Dress up, let's go to the shop. Come and assist me. I'm not your girlfriend. Fine. Good. I'll wait for you in the parlor. Please be fast with the deliveries. I've forwarded everything to your WhatsApp. Don't keep my customers waiting. Okay, so how do I know what clothes to give what customer? Thompson, are you blind? It's written there now. Oh, sorry. Don't keep them waiting. I'm not joking. Okay, but... You're sorting out. Hi. Um, welcome. Thank you. Hey girls, what's with the customer's waiting? Thompson is my new delivery man. What? I don't understand. That simply means he's helping me out with deliveries. What happened to your former delivery guy? He traveled. He traveled? Uh -huh. Just because he traveled and you think Thompson is the right person to replace him? Babe, why are you disrespecting your relationship? Why? Honestly, because your boyfriend is jobless doesn't mean you should disregard him. I don't like this, honestly. I don't like the way you are treating this guy. It's not fair. What's this one saying? I beg. <laughs> Meanwhile, this might just look good on you. Uh -uh. I'm sure you must have had so I beg, many chakras. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't try to divert from this conversation. I beg, rest. This clothes looks good on you. Stand up, let me see. Ah, ah. This clothes looks good on you. <laughs> see, girl. Ah, ah. You start paying me big money. I beg. Because see. this year, I will not be doing friendship selling for you again. See how cool and pretty you look. Right, thank you. <laughs> but honestly, this is not That's what you always say, but I'm horny, it's been a while. Please, I want you. Oh, Thompson, stop now. Stop. What? It's been a while. It's been a while for what? I'm horny. 
Thompson, you're supposed to be thinking of how to make money and not being honey. But what are you saying? What am I not saying? Is it my fault that I don't have a job? I, I've been trying. Wait, are you trying to say that because I don't have money, I don't have the right to be honey? Yes, you don't. It's a sin to be broke and honey. It's a sin. You cannot be broke and honey at the same time. It's really, really wrong. Please. It's okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry that I disturbed you. Sorry for your useless self. You're, you're broke and you want to climb a woman. It's a sin, no? Very wrong thing to do. Don't disturb me again. This might make her change her attitude. You know, I mean, she remembers that we're committed. So how do you intend to achieve that? First of all, I want to thank God for bringing you into my life. I want you to know that I love you so much. And even in my next life, if I'm given the chance to choose, I'll choose you. Even the life after that one. I want you to make me the happiest man on earth by marrying me. Please be my wife. Thompson. Yes, babe. You want me to marry you? Yeah. How did you get money to buy a ring? <laughs> babe, come on, that doesn't really matter. No, it really does matter because I need to know. Tell me. The most important thing is that I want to engage you. That, that's it. Answer my question. Well, I borrowed some money from Caesar here. Okay. So, how do you intend to get money for the wedding? Well, <laughs> that's not... You see how unreasonable poverty has made you become? No, 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 stop. Do not interfere. I need to talk some sense into this shameless man that calls himself my boyfriend. Thompson, you think I want to spend the rest of my life taking care of you? Oh, you want to make you being a burden to me official? Is that what this is all about? And you, you are a very wicked friend. As a matter of fact, both of you are mad, stupid. Engagement. Rubbish. How do I get out of my phone? No sense surprise. Sorry, Mom. No, you're a Don't stop. So this was the important thing you left my shop to come to, huh? It's obvious both of you are useless. The both of you don't have sense at all. You are the one who is senseless. That is the height of disrespect. Why can't you just appreciate his effort? Why? What useless effort are you talking about? Hmm? Did I beg him to engage me? So you expect me to accept proposal of someone that cannot at this point financially take care of me or my future children? Gold, Thompson's future is bright. He will definitely get back on his feet one day, so you have to stop. I first want him to get a good paying job. That is all I ask for. He should get something to do 
doing first? I thought... I thought you loved him. Love? Yes, I love him. But sometimes love is not enough. I'm a woman. I need a man that can financially take care of me. No, yet I have a future. My children, they have future too. So how is he supposed to take care of all of us if we get married? How? Don't answer me. You expect me to get married to a man that at this point cannot provide a soap? Not even a detergent? You hate me. It's obvious that you hate me. You're a very wicked friend. No problem. You get married to someone that cannot take care of me. That's wickedness. <sighs> Hi, good. Hey, Caesar. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. Um, Thompson is not around. He went to do deliveries. Uh, actually, I am not here to see Thompson. I came to see you. Mm. Yeah. I hope there's no problem. No, not at all. Okay. It's about Thompson. The way you are treating him is not fair. Yes, and I want you to know that Thompson loves you a lot. And the funny part of it is that no matter what you do to him, he still loves you so much. Why can't you see through his heart? Caesar, I love Thompson too. Mm. And I do not have a problem with your friend. But I don't like the fact that your friend is broke and he's not doing anything about it. I don't like that fact at all. It's annoying. But he is trying. He's not trying enough. Since I'm a woman. Okay, look at my mates. They're all doing well. But nothing about me is progressing. My business is going down because all I get is debit, debit, debit. It's not fair now. You said you know I'm trying. I have yes, tried. Yes, good. You are trying. But don't just give up on him. And I know very well that God will give him the job. Yes, don't <sighs> just give up on him, please. Exercise patience. I've heard you. I won't give up on him. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Don't worry. You will find the job and you both will enjoy, okay? It's okay. Alright. Um, I'll take my leave now, okay? Thanks for your concern. You're welcome. Take care. Stop. No? Why? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Did you give her my number? called me. Okay, thank you. And if she calls me and pays well, I'll have a surprise for you. <laughs> All right, take care. Okay, so um 15 inches height 
six feet. Hello? Yes, this is Noya's best friend. Yes, ma'am, she told me. Good morning. Sure, I can very well. I can. Okay, um, I'll need your measurements. Okay, ma'am. I'll be with you soon. Thanks for reaching out, ma'am. Thank you. Wake up. Wake up, we need to go somewhere. Hmm? Where exactly? What kind of stupid question is that? Get dressed, let's go out. I'm going to work. fashion designer. This is so unprofessional. You kept me here like forever. I, I was about leaving. I'm sorry ma'am. We were stuck in traffic. Hi ma'am. Hi. And you are? I am Thompson, her boyfriend. What a nice name for a handsome one. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can have your seat. Um, would it be okay if I if I use the restroom? Oh, sure, sure, you can do it. Okay, you this, can. This way. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, my boyfriend is so hot. You are enjoying all this endowment by yourself. Thank you. Your measurement. Um, it, oh, come, come and sit here. Come, come and sit here. Come. Okay. You know what? I am that type of woman that when I see what I want, I go for it. I want to have a test of your boyfriend. Excuse you? I want to knock your boyfriend. I will pay you five million naira. Yeah, yes. Lend me your boyfriend for a night. Five million naira. Thank you. Um, I'll proceed now with the measurement. Now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. I snapped you back. Mind. Have 
have developed so much love for money that it has made you turn a blind eye to what's wrong? How can you expect me to sleep with a total stranger? How? And what is wrong with you sleeping with a total stranger, huh? We're talking about five million naira. That money is going to change our life. Besides, you have my permission. So why do you make it sound like it's a big deal? It's that simple. It's that simple? Yes. Because you're not the one sleeping with a total stranger, right? Like for all we know, that woman might even be a ritualist. What stupid ritualist are you talking about? That woman just likes adventure. Besides, we need this money. The money is going to help me expand my business. And you can also start a small scale business. What is wrong with you? Do you really want me to sleep with a total stranger? Yes. Baby, what am I to you? Do you even love me? Because it's obvious you're selling me out to a total stranger for a mesh of pottage. Babes, listen, we don't need this kind of money. Say what? You say what? Thompson, I need the money. If you don't need the money, I need the money. So you better go sleep with that woman and bring the money for me. Because I need it. If you don't do it, I'll have to force you. Because you must do it. Oh, you are going to force me? Yes. So maybe you should grab my manhood and put it inside. If her. I have to grab your manhood and put it inside, I'll put it inside. Why are you acting like a saint, huh? Have you not slept with a prostitute before? This is even a bigger offer. Five million naira for just 10 to 30 minutes of pleasure. You're here complaining. You must do it all. Thompson, you must do it. I need the money. Now, babe, listen to me. There's no way on earth I'm selling my body for money. Do you understand? I'm in a relationship with you, a committed one at that. Do you get? There's no way on earth I am going to cheat on you. Not now, not ever. Thompson, you must cheat on me. I need you to cheat on me. Thompson, come back here. You must cheat on me, yo. What is wrong with you? Why would you agree to such a thing? Do you realize he's your boyfriend? You can't just sell him off like some piece of jewelry you purchased from a jewelry shop, disregarding his dignity as a man. You know, my problem with you is that you lack understanding. Oh. Yes, my boyfriend and I will need this money. Girl, I'm talking about five million naira. And besides, it's just a thing of ten minutes and you're done. <laughs> can you do it? Yes, I'm asking you, can you do it? Put yourself in his shoes. What if he asks you to sleep with another man for five million naira? Will you do it? Yes, I would do it with my full chest because we need the money. Look, my boyfriend's mother is sick. How are we supposed to get money for her medication? Because me, I don't have money again. I don't. Besides, you know that I've always wanted to expand my business. How do I get money to expand my business? Look, this woman is just God sent to us if you ask me. So it's an opportunity that we cannot miss. My boyfriend must do it though. He must do it because we need the money. So you actually want your boyfriend to cheat on you? Is he your cheating? Is it not our cheating? Can you allow us to cheat in peace? Uh -uh, leave us alone. It's our cheating. Let us cheat. Am I complaining? I'm not complaining. Let him cheat. No problem. It's okay, as long as we have the money. I'm cool. Ha, we need that money, yo. We need that money in our relationship. We need it. I need the money. I need the money. What?
please. I need you to go there and act really well, okay? Do the best you can. Give her all the styles. You know the style that I like. So she can pay you really well. Or even add extra. Please, and remember, no extra form of communication. Just sex is sex, nothing more. It's not okay. I know you can do this. And besides, you look extremely handsome today. <sighs> okay. Let's go. You ready? I'm sure you are. What? Let's go. In. Come in. Right on time, baby boy. Come. Come on. Come to Mama. I like them a bit stubborn. You were so good. Your girlfriend must be very lucky to have you. On the table there is a check of 5.5 million naira. 500,000 is a compensation for a job well done.
did it go? I mean, the money. Is that all you're concerned about? What else should be my concern? How she mourned for you? Or how you got yourself to Cloud Nine? Just give me the money. Thank you. Five point five million? How? Well, she gave me extra five hundred K for a job well done. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Still awake? Mm -hmm. How do you expect me to sleep when I have 5.5 million naira in my account? I'm writing out the list of things that we need. And most importantly, I want to rent a bigger space for my shop and employ professional designers. To make work easy for me. But, but babe, do you think you really need to rent another shop? Why don't you just renovate the one you already have? Oh, please, Thompson. If you don't have anything important to say, just go back to sleep. That's the only thing you're good at sleeping. Besides, I'm a classy fashion designer, so I need to make my shop really classy and beautiful. That's the only way I can attract big customers, you know. And I'm also writing a list of food things. I will give them to you so you go to the market and buy food stops for us. While I try to get me a shop. Go ahead. Go and sleep. I will handle everything myself. Like the wine? Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. He's right. He's really, really right. Getting a new shop would cost you nothing less than two million naira. So what and I advise you, you 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 invest that money in your current shop, renovate it, furnish it, make it look so good. I promise you your shop is going to stand out. Maya, sometimes you don't sound like my friend. You know how long I've been wanting to get the bigger space for my shop? And now I have the money you're asking me to do otherwise? I know. I know that is what you want. But come on. You will spend so much getting a new shop. Remember you pay light bill, cushion fee, so many other bills, and it's just too so much. My friend, that area is so expensive. You better spend your money wisely. Don't say he didn't tell you. You better spend this money wisely. Mm. Madam advisor. Okay. You're sounding as if it's you. You will not use the money and get yourself another shop. I 
beg, don't advise me. Nobody should advise me. I will do what I want to do. Ha -ha. What's all this? Nobody should advise Yes, me. don't advise me. Okay. You reach my tongue. I don't know if you want to be selfish. What? Um. What? Talk. I've been thinking of venturing into this Bitcoin business again. The only thing that's stopping me is money. I mean, lack of it. So I'm thinking that um, maybe we should use two million from the five million and. So, so I can start up. Yeah. Thompson, so what about my deliveries? I don't understand. Who will be delivering goods to my customers? Babe, come on, you, you look for someone else now. And waste my money. Besides, I don't have any money to give to you. Yes, I don't. Don't I get to have something? I mean, come on. I'm the one that slept with a total stranger. Alright? And fine. Even if you don't want to give me anything from the five million, what about the five hundred thousand that she gave me for compensation? At least I should have that one now. Thompson. Have I not been taking care of your needs all this while? Babe. I need to replenish my pockets. And besides, I already listed out the things I need to do with that five point five million. The money is finished. It's finished and Thompson, I'm sleeping. Don't wake me up again because of money. Why? Don't do that. It's wrong. Are you being serious? Please let me sleep. Money's finished. There's no money again. How's work going? Good? Afternoon. Hope everything is going on well. Okay, that's nice. And you too, no problem? No problem. Okay, that's fine. Um, Juliet, come to my office. If you ask me, I would say this girl doesn't love you anymore. You are just wasting your time in a relationship that is as good as dead. I love her. And I can't even think of breaking up with her. That is the problem I have with you. You love your woman. You love someone who clearly doesn't love you. Guy! You can't force someone to love you. If the relationship is not getting any better, you need to walk away, else she will completely ruin your life. Now she has turned you to her delivering boy. Who does that? 
if you still value your stand as a man in this relationship, guy, you need to walk away. Yes, now. Leave her. Yes. I can't. Where do you think you're coming from by this time of the night? I don't understand. What kind of question is that? What do you mean what kind of question is that? I'm your boyfriend and I deserve to know your whereabouts. So for the last time, where are you coming from? Excuse me. Now listen to me. I am tired of your nonsense. Do you understand? I am your boyfriend and I deserve some respect. So you better show me some respect. Respect? You talk to me about respect? Something I feed you. I feed your parents. I feed your siblings. I clothe you. I provide a roof over your head and you dare stand in my house to quarry my movement? And you have the guts to talk to me about tolerance? How ungrateful. But you know what? Enough. I'm tired. I'm tired of this relationship. I'm tired of you being a burden to me. I'm tired of this not going on well with you. I'm tired. And I call it the queen before you infect me with your poverty stricken not to do well self. Rubbish. Get out! Come, 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 come. Oh, finally. He's gone. Hey, can we go out for dinner? Why are you sad? Hmm? Don't tell me you are still thinking about her. You know what baffles me? What baffles me is how God just changed all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. This is a girl that used to love me. She used to respect me. She used to respect everything that had to do with the relationship. And all of a sudden, she just changed. That is life for you. You have to forget about her and move on. You see, there are a lot of girls out there who will give their left hand just to be with someone like you. Yes. 
Clear poverty in a bastard. You see this life? I swear if I don't make money, man, I know it's in Kosa. I believe you. Not be you again. <laughs> don't worry. Everything will do well. Just relax. Don't you have something stronger, like whiskey? Baba, do this thing. Uh -uh. Do you think? <laughs> no. Okay, that was actually really funny. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's be serious. What? Wait. You mean your boyfriend left the house for three weeks now? And you did absolutely nothing to find him? What if he was kidnapped? Oh, yeah. Thompson is fine. Besides, he left the house on his own. I didn't send him out. Why do I sense that you are not even involved? You're happy he left, Sabi. You're happy. Happy is not the word, but let's say I'm relieved. Yeah. I mean, just look at me. Don't I look better to you? Living the baby girl lifestyle, taking care of myself, you know? Less pressure. Let me just enjoy it for now, honestly. And you think this is the best life for you? Gold, you had a good man. A man who loved you unconditionally. A broke man that loved me unconditionally. Hello? What? You know what? Why don't we go for shopping? Yes, I have a party I want to attend. So let's go. Get some nice shopping. clothes. Shopping. Uh-huh. Gold. What? You have beautiful clothes already. No, yeah. This is the baby girl lifestyle I'm talking about. Do you expect me to wear same old clothes I wore for a previous party to another party? No. I mean, I have money, so I need to look good like the fashion designer that I am, you know. Come on, let's go. Let's Easy go shopping. with spending, no. Okay, okay. I saw one Gucci slippers I'd like to buy for you. <laughs> I know you like it. Let's go. You like all this stuff. You just be pretending. I'm dead. Come, let's go shopping, girl. Oh. What? Listen to me. Is it with paint? Okay, but well, I need to buy this particular clothes first. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I heard about it too, girl. That R&B singer, Mother's Bearer. Hey now, they said there should be 600 k Why not? I'll pay. Of course, I need to go because I need them to know that gold is in town. Yeah, the best fashion designer. Can you say 600 k is too much? No, 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 I'll pay, I'll pay. <laughs> okay. Alright, Chess, I'll let you know when I send them the money. Ah, I must be there. Alright then, bye. <laughs> okay. I'm even send them Mrs. Sundra key now, now. No need to waste time. Who's calling me with a foreign number? Who's calling me with international number? Hello? Hey, Tommy, Tommy. Who is this? This, this voice sounds familiar. Bernard? It's me, Bo, longest time. Bernard! Bernard, what's up now? Bernard, since you traveled, you haven't called your guy. And this, you, today you decided to call me, really? How far now, guy? What's up? What's, what's happening? He said I've been wanting to call you, but something keeps pulling me back. Until I said, no, I must call this guy. I must call the guy that helped me. <laughs> Come on, what did I do that nobody has done before? So that thing that has been pulling you back finally released you. Come on, bro, have you forgotten how you helped me? The formula that you gave me to invest four years ago. Eh, what happened to it? The money yelled with the dividends tripled the money you gave me. And I have invested in so many businesses. Are oh you serious? 
<laughs> Guy, I'm so happy for you, man. I'm really happy for you. Guy, it's so good to hear your voice! Yeah. So, tell me, bro, how is life now? How Niger? Uh, well, I just hear, I just hear life has been a bit, um, in fact, life has been tough. Your guy fell from grace to grass, you know, bro. Oh, that's quite unfortunate, bro. Well, I'm really sorry about that. You know what? Send me your account details. I'll surprise you one of these oh, days. Bernard, forget. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything. Have fun now, my guy! Thompson, I insist. After this call, just forward your bank and details to me. I'm expecting something which I'm sure I will reciprocate your sky news. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you say so. Bernard, Bernard! My man! <laughs> I'm so excited, man. Um, how is good? I get well, know the, you know, the carry play that time. Uh, well, gold, gold is fine. Are you guys still together? Nah, we broke up. Nah, normal levels now. It's not a death sentence, bro. Alright, I'll get back to you. Please, you are candidates. Don't forget, Bernard, okay? Bernard, you don't know how excited I am, I swear, guy. <laughs> no wala, no wala. Chai. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Let me see if his number. No, 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 that landlord, you cannot tell me that. I don't understand. So why didn't you tell me the land was owned by the government before I paid? In two weeks? How can they just demolish my shop like that? Look, Ogala Lord, I know my human rights. What kind of intimidation is this one now? No, because I will take you and the government to court. How can you put just so much this to do? Get another shop. With which money? Eh? Can you imagine? So what do you expect me to do now? How can I just demolish? This a lot. How many zeros are here? Lord of Zachariah. This is 20 million era now. 20 million! 20 million guy! Yeah, this is what happened now. This is 20 million era! 20 million era for me! For me! For me! Now 20 million era. Oh my god! Oh! Brother Bernard! Brother Bernard has done it again! Brother Bernard, Bernard, Bernard talk to me now! Oh my god! Look, you know that my friend? The one I told you, Bernard now, the one where, where they are brought I told you about. You that's 4 million euros. Yes, yes, yes! Look at this! Just send me this! Guy! You don't blow. Look at this guy. You don't blow now. <laughs> see, you see why it is good to be good? Oh my god. 20 million era. Oh my god. Guy, you don't blow now! Guy, better not just do it. Huh? Wait. God is not asleep. God is already involved in your life. What about 20 million era? Hey! Guy, 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 guy. Just like that. You are a good person. A guy with a good heart. Hey! Yeah, you don't blow. Hey, guy, which one? They cry now. Why did they cry? No, we're trying to cry with this at all. It's been 20 million. Guy! I don't even have up to 100k in my account. How did I spend 5.5 million Naira in 4 months? In 6 days, my shop will be demolished alongside other shops. Even this house rent is almost due. God. What should I do? Why 
where do I get money to rent another store and also pay for my house rent? God, please help me. You're my only hope. Please. You have to calm down. This is not the end of the world. In no time, you will bounce back. Bounce back how? My life is ruined. How do I take care of my sick mother now? How? You no, know, your shop is demolished. You will rent another one. I do have money. I don't. I do have money. I don't understand. What do you mean by you don't have money? What about the money in your account? It's finished. Eh? What do you mean by it's finished? <laughs> Honestly, girl, I don't mean to turn back the hands of time. But if Thompson were to be here, he would curtail your expenses. At least he is good at that. I mean, how? I don't. What, what do you mean by his finish? Five million naira. Where do you start from? What do I do? What do I do? Oh my God! What do I do? God. <sighs> What do I do now? What? What? <laughs> of course now, of course. Look, we are made. We have made it, all right? And I thank God for everything. And I thank Bernard, like that guy, come on, my God will bless that guy. Of course it's our win now, my win is your win, come on now. <laughs> I know, right? It's so funny how things just change, you know. Yeah. Anyways. I have a meeting with a client and I have to rush up now. Let's look, let's link up later now. All right. All right then. Okay now, later. Oh. <sighs> Girl, how are you? Just there. 
babes. <laughs> you won't believe whom I saw earlier today. Who? <laughs> you will be shocked to know. Shocked? Yes. Then tell me now. Who? <laughs> I saw Thompson. Thompson? Yes, Thompson. <laughs> Babe, I couldn't believe my eyes. Thompson, he's so made. He's so cute. You needed to see him well polished. You needed to see his car, his dressing. Yes. I heard him talking millions over the phone. Babes, Thompson don't blow. Babe, that's by the way. Have you been able to get the money? Babe, are you okay? Hmm? Are you okay? Have you been able to get the money? I stopped my sleep with your calls last night. Now that we're here in a bar, why do you want to see me? I'm all ears. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my attitude to you in the past. Go, this, this is not the time. Alright? Is there another reason you wanted to see me? Out with it. Thompson, I'm. I'm homeless. My rent expired and I cannot pay anymore. My business has gone down. I barely eat two square meals a day. Genuine parties 
No one believes me because, because of how I have placed myself. I'm finished, Thompson. So, what do you want me to do? Good afternoon, babe. What are you doing? You've cleaned this house three times today. You did the laundry. You've done the dishes. You even cooked. You have made my bed twice today. That's not acceptable. You have your room, gold. Make your bed, not mine. Thompson. You know, I really don't know what this is about. But I'll make one thing clear. I let you come into my house because I wanted to help a friend. A friend who is trying to get back on her feet. But while we're doing that, do not make my meals, do not clean my room. The love we once shared, you sold a long time ago. 
please respect your boundaries. Stay in your limit. I beg you. First, I want to say thank you for bringing me into your house. Thank you for helping me. But I'm leaving. Once again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the pains that I made you pass through. I'm sorry for selling our love because of my love of material things. Thompson, please. Just, just find a place in your heart to forgive me. I know you don't love me anymore. I know that we can never be like we used to be. And it's okay. I just... I just want you to forgive me so I can have peace, Thompson. Please forgive me. Thompson, you... You're a really nice man and... You honestly don't deserve a woman like me. I hope... I hope you find someone better. Just... Just forgive me, please. I'll miss you regardless. I really miss you, Tamsi. <laughs> Go. I forgive you. And yes, I still love you. Truth is, you really hurt me. But we're all humans, right? We're prone to mistakes. I'm not perfect, my <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Why do you think I let you in my house in the first place? I love you so much, Gold. Don't say that. 
I never want you out of my sight again. Come here. Never let you out of my sight again. Never. <laughs> <laughs> 